What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we're here for some more The Crew 2. Now, yesterday's video we talked about the F1 gameplay, the video before that we talked about the drift gameplay. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about the video and photo modes because honestly I think this is one of the coolest things to come out of Gamescom. So if you haven't watched any of my other videos you won't know that I am actually at Gamescom, that is why I'm in a hotel room and not my actual like normal space. Uh, and I have actually played about 30 minutes of The Crew so it wasn't too long um, but I did get to have a good hands on with the game. I got to play it a good while and I could definitely like tell some distinct differences between that game and this game so I will link all of my The Crew 2 videos down in the description below so if you're going to want to go ahead and watch maybe some of the F1 circuit spec gameplay or some of the drift spec gameplay that will be down in the description but now what we're going to go ahead and talk about is this photo and video mode. It is in Sane. So I'm just going to have it in the background playing and showing you guys some. There's not much footage of it, but I've got a lot of details to show with, share with you guys, which I don't think have been released anywhere else. So we're going to go ahead and go through that now. So the video mode and photo mode has been completely redone. So similar to the last photo mode, you can change the night time, time of day, you can change the weather, you can change, you know, all those types of things with the car. So if, if you take a picture and in the game world, it's like 12 o'clock at, in, in, at night and midnight and you want to have a picture at sunset you can change that in settings but not only can you do that in photo mode you can also do that in video mode now obviously you're gonna have your kind of cool like integral tweaks to the photo mode and video modes which you kind of expected but as well as that there's a whole bunch of new stuff especially to the video mode which has been added to make it a, just a, a much better experience so in the video mode it records all the 10 minutes like the past 10 minutes of gameplay so say you're in, in the middle of a race and you just make call in a race maybe you did a bowel roll in a race or something across those lines and you want to record it but you're in the middle of the race you don't have to really worry about that as long as it's not longer than 10 minutes um, you can go back to that after you finish the race you know get the part where you did the barrel roll and edit it and put it online which is really really cool so that's the first cool thing the last 10 minutes of the game have been recorded and you can go back to that anytime and that's in game you can go back to it in game so the second cool thing which was in there um, so obviously you can change your time of day you can change um, your weather and stuff but you can do that in video mode as well and as well as that there's camera presets but there's also a free cam so what this means is you can go back you know to the last 10 minutes of gameplay change the time of day change the weather and then track the shot exactly how you want it so if you don't know what tracking means tracking is essentially when you move the camera backwards and you know the car follows and that's what tracking is you can do that in game with your last 10 minutes of gameplay at any point so if you want to go back and say you want to do a tracking shot of a, you want to do some rolling shots of a car going forward so say you're doing a showcase or a montage and the car's coming forward and you're here with, the, with your camera. So the car's here and I'm here with the camera. You can follow the car like this and get shots of it like that. It's really, really cool to see. You know, they've got a bunch of presets but they've also got free cam. I mentioned that it was almost as good as the Rockstar editor yesterday and I'd say it's very close. It doesn't have a few options like shaking the camera at least. I didn't see that in the Gamescom build. Obviously things are changing. This was only a Gamescom build. Things might change from now to March. But I'd say it's very close. You know, the fact you can change the time of of day like a little like the time of day and the weather you can you know change whether you want damage on or off on the cars you can clean up the cars if they've been dirty there's all types of things which you can do which you couldn't do before and that's pretty much it um I kind of explained it quite fast I kind of realized as I was going through it but it's just completely changed you know I think the fact alone that in video mode you can change the time of day the weather and um you know track shots with you know the last 10 minutes of gameplay I think that's a game changer I think for the crew as well where the first one the video mode was definitely all right but it was a bit you know clunky in places for example when you'd be tracking shots or when you'd be going around a building you could only do it in photo mode when it was still and then you could only really um, do it at a certain pace which was really really fast things have changed now the photo mode it's just so much better I think it's really going to allow creators to make stuff which is on level with the GTA things. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to, like, tell where you want NPCs to go and stuff. But in a car world, I think this is our equivalent to having that type of video mode. Again, the guys at Ivory have just outdone themselves. And I've got nothing else to say except just thank you for what is in there. And I can't wait to play the beta. Like I said in my last three videos, I just can't believe how much people are sleeping on this game. And I need to get my hands on it. It's free awesome that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you go ahead and hit like subscribe i'm gonna have a video up, up, up later about need speed physics and stuff so if you want to go ahead and watch that make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel but that's been it from me today I hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you go ahead and hit the like subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one you guys have been awesome stay safe and peace